We've got a 1969 Dodge Dart GTS with the 383 big block motor under the hood. Now obviously, it's done in B5 blue. And let me tell you, this is one of the nicest paint jobs we have in inventory right now. Also comes with the bucket seats and the console, nice red line tires. It's a sharp looker. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all about it. Look at about 100 pictures top to bottom. And that's where you'll find a price tag on every car we have along with a monthly finance option. With as little as 10% down, they'll go 12 or 13 years on most uh, cars. It makes it real easy for you. Also, if you enjoy our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified when the next video is posted. But for right now, join Max and I, my grandson, and let's go for a spin. So underneath the car is real nice and clean and orderly. The frame rails, the floors all look real nice. They've got like the original undercoat and they've been cleaned up and given some fresh black paint over it. So it looks real nice. All the steering and suspension front and back all looks clean. The shocks look relatively new. Uh, the fuel tank and sending unit do look new. Uh, it's got a nice dual exhaust system that's pretty fresh. I think Flowmaster mufflers has the correct tips coming out the back here. Sounds really nice. You'll hear it towards the end of the video. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's real nice and clean. Uh, it has the torque flight automatic transmissions, nice and clean. Drive shafts rebuilt, has an eight and three quarter rear end with a posi in it. I know it's a posi because I already did the uh, little test run there and it left two black patches on the pavement. So that's the underside of the car. All right, Max, stand over there. The body on this one's really exceptional. It is from a good seller of mine. He sells me really nice cars. They're always detailed. They're dialed in. Usually fly right through the shop, not needing much. And I will say this is the best paint job. He even said that this is the best paint job that he has sent me. Uh, it's B5 blue, upper and lower, according to the tag. Uh, the body, let's check out the body. All clean metal, all real nice. Now the GTS has these nice little humps on each side of the hood there. All fits and lines up real nice. Absolutely straight. Nice gaps. Laser beam straight. You look down the side of this car, there's not a ripple. All nice clean gaps, clean metal. No bubbles, no rust, no body work showing. Shuts real nice. The roof, no issues. I don't see any issues anywhere with the body. It's all amazing. And the paint is laid out evenly. There's no mismatched color. The metal flake is excellent. The clear coat's polished like glass. It looks like you could just reach right in there. It's that deep looking. Has the GT Sport decals, bumblebee stripe around the back of it. And again, this continues on this side to just be outstanding. Body and paint, two thumbs up. I want to use the P word perfect, uh, but I hate to do that. But this one uh, is pretty outstanding. Uh, the rear glass, uh, he actually just replaced. It has the Chrysler logo. That's new. Redline tires are brand new. He put those on. Uh, with the poverty wheels, the caps are in mint shape. I like the red, matches the tire. Uh, wheels painted to match the car. The rocker moldings, door handles are real nice. The mirror looks like new. All the chrome, the stainless, all real nice. Windshield looks real nice. These pieces of trim right here look real good. It says 383 four barrel right on there. Fender turn signals work. I tried them. Uh, part of the GTS was the blacked out grill. The grill looks to be in good shape, probably the original that somebody painted and restored a little bit. The front bumper is re-chromed. It has the correct antenna, probably new, but it's a correct one. The weather strips were replaced. And that's it. So that's uh, the outside. Let's open it up, get a tour of the inside. All right, real quick, before I open the trunk, I didn't show you the back of the car. The bumpers re chrome, the tail lights are beautiful. This is a good original panel. Uh, it shows a little bit of wear. They resprayed the black. Now let's look inside the trunk. 
Wow, under the trunk lids, all painted slick. Got a nice uh, sticker, jam, all slick. New weather strip, new reproduction mat. The entire uh, trunk compartment's all clean metal, painted real nice. So we have a brand new BF Goodrich tire, but no rim. And these tires are wider than the originals. The original have been a lot skinnier and sat flush in there. My favorite part about this car is the exterior, the blue with the white stripe and the red lines and the stance and the quality of the paint. It's just killer. Door jams are painted real slick. Weather strips are replaced. Now the door panels, they're in excellent shape and you know, the armrests and window cranks. It's all really nice. This instrument panel or bezel looks new. The chrome is sparkling. The dash pad is new. Heater controls are beautiful. Has a radio delete plate. A nice glove box. Got an extra part that looks like it's off the heater door. Kick panels are excellent. Look at the blue GTS embroidered mats. Got real nice carpet. Not too many darts. They have the buckets with the console. I think that's a part of the GTS. A lot of uh, regular GTs don't have it. And I got to point out the gauges. They're Stuart Warner's. They're, they're vintage. I don't know if these are actually antique gauges or if they're reproductions, but that's like the vintage style that you would have put in back in the day. Steering wheels mint. Cushions are mint. Upholstery is redone. It's got the headrest. It's got seat belts. Yeah, back seats real nice. The side panels all look real good. Headliner looks real nice. So the headliner looks pristine. Working dome light. Visors look new. Mirror looks real good. So the interior is in pretty darn good shape. The console looks original with just slight wear. Probably better than most of them I see. All right, this is a show quality motor compartment. That is a correct 3D3 Magnum engine. I think Plymouth called it the Magnum. Or Dodge called it the Magnum. They call it Super Commando. But anyway, 3D3 high performance motor. It's correct dated and correct casting number for this car. Um, it's got a set of headers. It's got a big dual feed chrome plated Holly carb with electric choke. Other than that, it's stock. You know, intake and air cleaner, nice chrome valve covers. And look at the engine bay, how beautiful it's painted with all new components and hoses and alternator and horns. Distributor looks new, all the wires, the fan, the shroud, the cap, all this looks like new. The looms for the plug wires, everything's run neatly. Has a actual reproduction battery not just the topper that's a mopar battery all bolted down properly new cables here's the trim tag or fender tag there's the b5 that's for the blue chrysler washer fluid bottle squirter hoses wires everything looks real nice Sounds like it wants to run. Yeah. Sounds just right. Oil pressure is almost 80 pounds. Yeah. Sit back. Nice. Thank you see my face. We're going to it a little. Alright, so a very beautiful dialed in B5 Blue Dart GTS Big Block. Now just think about that. A Big Block and a little Dodge Dart. 
Now that's muscle car days right there. I hope you don't mind that Max joined us today. This has been a family-run business since 1960. On any given day, there's 10 to 15 family members working here. So there was a day where that was me. For more information, go to volocars.com. The salesman can answer your questions, including how to get it delivered to your door and how to get it financed. You go to volocars.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click that bell icon. That way you're notified when the next one's posted. Thanks for watching. Come on, Max.